preparing or how long is a reasonable amount of time to pay back a veterinary education. So the loan repayment plans, depending on which one you qualify for, 20 years is, is one of them, is at the time frame, and a lot of the other ones are 25 years. There's some proposals in Congress now which would extend those to 30 years. So, you know, it really depends on, on your situation. But generally speaking, the, the, the plans that are in place now are set up to run anywhere between 20 and 25 and sometimes 30 years. I think 20 to 25 years is probably a reasonable timeline. Uh, but, it, you know, it all depends on your income, right? So if we let your income dictate your repayment, the great thing about income-driven repayment is that it's going to end either 20 years, 25 years, or sooner, right? So if you make a lot of money, you'll pay your loans off before 20 or 25 years. But it's not going to extend past that. Once you hit that maximum time frame, the government says, game over. If you have anything left, we're going to tax you on this. As long as you're prepared for that, then you can really reduce your total repayment costs, right? And that's the other piece about income-driven repayment that tends to scare people away is this, quote, tax at the end. And yes, it, if you have anything left over at the end, it can be treated as taxable income, but that can also be a huge discount because right now the top marginal tax rate is 39.6%. Most people who have experienced loan forgiveness are not going to fall into that top tax bracket, so you're talking about paying a fraction of the remainder of your student loans at the end. So as long as you're prepared for that and you have 20 to 25 years to figure that out, that's what the loan repayment simulator actually helps you do too. If you're going to have something forgiven, it'll actually suggest how much you need to save to plan for that tax at forgiveness. Um, as long as you're prepared for that, you can really save a lot of money on your loan repayment plan.